Hi guys, welcome back. So let's get on with adding a layer to this techno kick. We're going to put the snap into this. So you want to go to your work files folder and look for BDO2. Just going to rename this to 909BDO2. Uh, I don't know if you know, but if you shift and enter, it names the actual part as well, rather than just the channel. Just quickly uh, copy these over. And don't forget the little trick of bringing in the ends. You can see there might be some information there. So we'll just bring that in. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna EQ that, compress it, distort it a little bit more, and add this to the top, uh, add this to the lower kick we have, sorry. Because at the moment, they're not gonna sound that great together. So what we need to do is take out the bottom end of this. I'll just quickly make it yellow. So we're gonna take out the very bottom end of this. I'm just going to put the comparison up, which is a new feature in 10.5. So I want to see where the frequency, the fundamental frequency is in Techno Kick 1, which is going to be orange, which is around about there. G sharp 52 hertz. And what we'll do on the this one is we'll do the opposite EQ. So what I'm doing here is I'm EQing this layer kick, taking the same frequency out completely out of the frequency in techno one techno kick one where that fundamental lies therefore i'm not going to get any phase issues and i've not got two lots of sub working against each other and basically summing together and just sounding all messy and horrible this is techno kick one and this is the kick two where i'm taking out all the low end and we're really going to Give this some beef on the top end as well. So we've got both running at the moment. Which is not a bad idea to have both running. Then you can hear exactly what you're affecting on channel 2 and how it is working with channel one. I'm going to add some distortion on this as well. I'm going to hit compression in a minute as well. But let's just add a bit of distortion. You only want a tiny bit of this. Not too much. In fact, I'll turn the mix down a bit. Get the volume right. Best way to do that is to turn it all the way down and then mix it in. Add a bit of snap to this, so we'll compress. Uh, a short release will also add a bit of snap in this as well. So what you can do, another little trick you can do with compression, where in, in the first one I explained that you can have the attack at around about 15 to 20 milliseconds to let the first transient through, and then we compress the rest of the signal, which then creates that kind of percussive attack. And in this sample, you can see that it's different. It's got all the volume at the front anyway, and then it tails off. So what you can do is kind of like the opposite on this one, if you like, to get more volume out of a sample like this, you can just compress it with the attack turned down, so zero. And then what that's going to do is it's going to compress this whole signal. So these loud bits will become softer and therefore they'll come down to here. And if you set the threshold around about here, then these bits here will not get compressed. So only what's going over the threshold will get compressed. So therefore what you end up with is a, is a much flatter 
sample or audio waveform a bit like this one. Now it depends what you're trying to achieve here, but the, the benefit of compressing this so it's more flatter is to get more loudness out of it. So, because at the moment the loudness or the peak is all coming at the, th the front of the sample. But if you want to get more overall perceived loudness, what you do is compress it and you'll see on the meters, we'll, we'll actually do this, we'll do this right now. Just set this up and I'll actually show it to you. So let's just solo the second one. We'll just bounce down one of them. Uh, let's put compression on. A bit more severe maybe. With no attack, short release. And we'll just take the tops off. I'm just going to get rid of the distortion and the EQ so it's the same as the sample here. And only use the compressor just for this demonstration. Let's render that down. And there's the render. So now you can see that there's much less difference between the, the highest peak of volume and the lowest volume. So that means you're going to get a more average sound and therefore the human ear perceives this as louder. So it depends what you want to do, whether you want that snappiness or do you want the average perceived loudness. And let's have a look on the meter. So I've got them roughly the same volume. And this one we're looking at about minus 15. And then there's this one, the compressed one, about the same volume. This one's on about minus 18. So we've got more level out of it, but the peak volume is less. So I'm, I'm, I'm not actually going to use the compressed version. I'm just going to remove that. That was just to show you what you can do if you want to get a louder kick with less volume. I'm going to go back to the snappiness. Uh, which is the compressor here, letting through the attack, because I want this top end to be snappy. There's a bit too much distortion on here. I've just reduced the mix quite a bit there. And so this is the uh, without the extra layer. That's with the extra layer. Let's go back, see if we can, this envelope shaper makes any difference. Yeah. What does add a little bit of attack. So I think for the moment that's okay, that's our kick working together. So we've got a, a lower layer and a higher layer. And I think for the moment we'll leave that there and move on to the bass rumble. Some people would bounce this down so you've got the kick all together. I wouldn't do that personally because in case I want to change my mind later on or affect the balance between the two or later on I might think oh that that lower end of that kick needs a bit of bit bit more saturation, or the top end needs a bit more snap, or whatever. So you know that's that's why I wouldn't bounce it down at, at this stage. Okay, guys, I think we'll leave it there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.